Hello everyone, this is just an update video. We're doing some experiments with the uh, gasoline powered engine. This is, um, we're interested in, in basically, well, actually, do you want to talk about it? No. Well, we were trying to run, uh, to kind of increase our gas mileage, the running vapor. Uh, we had gas in here, we have a material inside that uh, absorbed the gas and helped create vapor and the car improved gas mileage. Uh, you can hear the difference in the engine when it ran. Uh, and then after, we let it run until it, uh, all the gas was out and the, uh, the material inside wasn't saturated anymore. And he was still driving it and he drove from uh, Pasadena to Lancaster up the hill and just by having the exhaust the gas, the vapor coming from the valve cover, which is part of the smog that normally goes to the intake, we had it pass through the tank and that vapor actually increased the gas mileage where normally he was going around 20-30 miles a gallon coming up the hill here. He got 43 today. Yeah, I averaged 43 miles per gallon with the air conditioning on, and that's much higher than the car would get going up a hill um, without any other modifications to the car. So I was surprised to see that, and again, that's with this with this empty. And um, with the material we used in here was just uh, a uh, an old, old cotton. Uh, cotton. It was all cotton shirt. An old yeah. cotton T-shirt. We just mm -hmm. used half of it, extra large. And cut it in half and put and stuffed it in in here carefully in the hole, and that was to use. Um, I was watching the Vapor Kid. If you go to YouTube, screen name the Vapor Kid. I was watching how he was using like some kind of material or filters or something to use as a wick, um, like the way that the old cigarette lighters. Yeah, right. They used to use right. a wick. Right. They used to use a wick. And, uh, or or also lanterns. Some lanterns to use a wick. Right. Where it absorbs up and the wick gets saturated. And yeah. So and even so, after I ran this with gas, we I put about one inch of fuel in there, and used all that. I then put about a one inch of water in there, used all that, and that also worked well. Um, it didn't get as much efficiency as using the fuel, but it all but it did help. It still, it still was a positive result. And but once the water was gone, I noticed um, that there was still an uh, an increase in fuel mileage, which really surprised me. And we're theorizing that it could be because we know that gasoline does get past the rings, the piston rings, and goes and down oil into, vapor. The, into and the and the oil vapor and oil vapor. Yes, that's correct. That's so those fumes get sent back in. This is just how the car's designed. Cars are designed to vent those fumes back into. Usually it would go from, from, from the valve cover here, which takes those fumes that are naturally p produced from the oil and from the unburnt fuel getting by the rings, and, go, and it would go into here, into this, into the intake manifold, which is where the air, mixing with the airflow, that, that is what allows the gasoline to burn inside the engine. So I just, um, we teed into that and ran this line, which I can close when the car's, when I'm not using the car, I can close that. And then when I'm driving the car, I leave this open all the way. And then so that, that will flow here, goes around and around. And the only reason I left this line long is because that we're just, because we're just experimenting. I didn't want to cut the hose. I want to save the hose. Because if I cut it short, just to go from, from here, to directly to um, here, then <clears throat> I'm just using I'm just wasting hose because this hose will be be used again for the next experiment. Which um, th this is just an ongoing process of experimenting. So I just wanted to share the results with you. I thought I, I wasn't expecting to get an in increase in efficiency by having empty, an empty canister here. But then when I when we talked about it and realized that that there's there's vapors coming from the engine that usually get vented into directly into the intake manifold, maybe by them coming into here, and you thought maybe it was the cooling of that, it maybe. may have, because it's a little hotter, this tank isn't, and so it's kind of cooling it down before it goes back in there, may have had a, a effect on it. Yeah, this gets pretty... We, we have to do more research and find out. 
right, more testing. This does get pretty hot because it sits above the um, exhaust manifold, which is down there. Uh, you know, probably about at least a foot down. You can't see it from here, but, oh well, yeah, there it is. It's right there. But um, this does get pretty warm. But um, you know, I, we, all I know is that it, it, it's increasing efficiency. <laughs> and the purpose of the material inside here, uh, for the gas to, uh, to absorb the gas and get saturated, uh, it helps it uh, evaporate better. Uh, so you get better vapor as it comes off of the fuel, as the air, air intake gets air sucked in through it. And that's the purpose of putting some material in there other than just the gas and letting it evaporate on its own. Yeah, that's right. So just special thanks to the Vapor Kid for um, your videos that you make. They're very helpful. And uh, also special thanks to, <clears throat> to Tyson Capel. I, I watch a lot of your videos and they help me a lot. And just all the people that are experimenting with, um, you know, just, uh, you know, increasing efficiency of the internal combustion engine and, and, and trying to reduce exhaust emissions and trying to increase, you know, the way that the, the, the efficiency of the way the engine burns fuel. Um, it's, it's fun to experiment and to learn, and especially when things don't make sense, and it, but they still work, and it's like, well, how did that happen? <laughs> this is definitely a, one, of those, one of those instances where I said, I don't know why it's working, but it works. All right, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye.